Morning. Morning. So we had a brilliant two night stays in the dragon's eye like you can literally do this if you want to do it all you got to do is just just bring them and say i want to book the dragon's eye and then you come up and have a great time it is so special though isn't it yeah it's amazing especially like i can imagine it in the winter because that fire when we lit it it was so hot in there but in the winter it'd be so cozy just a, a magical place to stay in wales for your anniversary if you've got one coming up which i know you have so so what are we doing today then craig so today we are first we're heading for a castle which is like on this little hill right on the beach which is going to be awesome it is nuts we drove past it we didn't know it's there it wasn't on the itinerary i don't know why and i was like oh my god we both sort of went whoa it's literally it's just on the corner of like the peninsula and it's just there like obviously wales is known for castles which is sick bro because that's like real cool isn't it you just say sick bro it makes us the coolest types of people even if we say sick bro you've changed since you got like that <laughs> <laughs> and after that we're going we're going to what's it called harlock big no we're going to port yago we're going no we're doing that first Let's go for it. i don't i don't know <laughs> port yago first i'm just here for the lols we're going to a beautiful beach first but then we'll tell you the rest later. Yeah, so we were hoping it would be sunny, but it's kind of moody grams now, isn't it? So I don't know how we're gonna make this look because it's, it's kind of getting a bit like, ooh, winter's coming. <laughs> Road trip. Are you sure this is right now? Ask me one more time. But look. it's weird, weird, like, this says it's like private land and stuff, you're paying for parking. I'm like, where's the beach, bro? There's a big sign that says beach. It looks really wet. Yeah, she like that. my purse. Thanks. I've never seen, she like my purse, I ain't even bought it for me. <laughs> He's like, there's glitter on it. I'm like, oh, but it suits you, babe, you blush. <laughs> this is where the mafia come to take the bodies, Craig. Craig, Craig, is this is the right place. I'm very worried, I'm concerned. So you can hear it blowing a gale, listen. So if I refer back to my PowerPoint presentation, this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what I've got. Lovely sunny, you know, nice blue beach with little little uh, bits of land sort of bordering it. And then that's not quite what I had in mind. How is it? That's probably one of the best beaches I've ever seen. Are you joking me? I'm not even kidding. Like it's a bit windy. And if it was, but if it was calm and sunny, it's so nice. It's like a tiny cove, but there's like cliffs going all the way around it. It's amazing. There's like a little yellow kayak down there. I don't know if it's someone's, but is there what sand? A spot. Yeah, the sand. Yeah, it's like a little mini beach. It's amazing. All right, let's go and have a look. What's going on? So we went to walk to the beach and it started raining. Of course it did. Lovely Welsh weather. So we've come back to the van and we're going to try and put a brew on, but I'm struggling with how to use the tap. <laughs> Dickhead. How's your banana, babes? I'm shut, man. It's so windy out there. <laughs> As, as, as we were leaving the beach, the sun decided to come out. Mm, wicked! <laughs> and we nearly lost the drone as well. It took, it took off in the wind, flew over a fence. I thought I was going to hit a cow, but I didn't. And it came back to the beach somehow. I, was, I started running up the hill. I was like, it's gone! It's gone! <laughs> but we got it back. We're having a little banana now in the van. And I then can't. we're going to move on. <laughs> so now we're going to go to the castle, but I don't think we're going to be able to fly the drone there. Okay, let's go, because we're running late, Craig, and we've got the most insane place to stay tonight. Keep it tuned, guys. You're gonna wanna see this one. Keep it tuned. <laughs> I love Wales, I do. I bloody love castles. 
I get so excited, don't I, when we see them. I think that when I'm older, I need to live in one. Don't you think? Not you, like just me. We'll get you a castle. Oh, I'd love it. What a beautiful castle, though. Just even though it's windy, it's just like on the top of a hill. You can see the whole town and the whole beach just stretches out across the whole thing. Colourful little houses. Just lots of old people having a great time. I wish I could tell you more about it. I know that Llewellyn built it, what a guy. But um, I guess it is just the ruins of it, isn't it? Because there's no, there's no bedrooms or nothing. Yeah, there's no ensuite bathrooms or nothing. Yeah, oh, I just love it. I love seeing Newcastles. You can just imagine the history behind it if you're into that kind of stuff. That's all you can do is imagine because we if can't tell you anything. If you're smart and you wear glasses like me. So where are we go next? So next we're going to the famous Barmouth Town Railway, which is a, like a, a train that jets across the sea, across the channel. It jets across it? Yeah. The, the, it's on track, so. Yeah, yeah, but like <laughs> the, the actual track jets across the sea, isn't it? That's pretty cool. It is really windy though, so I hope we don't get blown overboard. Pot noodle? So that was Barmouth Town Railway. How cool is that? It is proper moody right now, isn't it? Yeah, perfect, because it's so sort of set the scene. It's like, yeah, just everywhere you look, it's just incredible. There's like mountains with like clouds it's going the over them. On the top, isn't it? There's like a castle in the, in the distance on the left. And then you can see all the boats and the fishermen out. Just so cool. It'd be a wicked place to have a house, wouldn't it? Yeah, some banging houses. I'm steaming up, young. Yeah. Getting well warm. It's with a run back up because we're late. Always late. So, this is what we've been waiting for, guys. We're off to an eco retreat in the middle of a forest. We're going to go and meet our hosts and they're going to show us around. Uh, I'm not going to tell you much more about it. We'll just go. Let's go. Okay, so we've met our hostess with the mostess. That is Sir Michael. He met us at the top of the road, so we knew where we was going. Um, and he's just given us some wellies, because as you can see, it's a bit rainy, which means it's a bit muddy. He said, grab everything you need for the night. We, we it, literally, in the middle of nowhere, we like took a turn out, and now we're just in the wilderness. I said to Craig, like, if we had fairy costumes, we would fit right in. It's that kind of magical scenery, do you know what I mean? I know what you mean. You know what I mean, Craig. So, um, I fancy a bath tonight. How about you? Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Like, are you truly ready I to see so. inside? I think so. Think like Wales versus Game of Thrones. Okay. <laughs> Welcome! Whoa! So this is the year. How cool is this? Isn't it massive? Like I didn't expect it to be so big. And I lit all the candles just to set the mood because it's so bloody romantic, Craig. I think I'm gonna die. <laughs> okay, so let me give you a little guided tour. Over here, we have the water that comes from the spring, ye yonder in the valley. And then this is all your cooking equipment, your gas down below, some uh, little spices and stuff if you want to cook. Michael was like, did you bring food with you? We were like, no, no we didn't. Because we're not really prepared ever in life. It's your fault. Unorganised Susie we call him. Safety box and all that jazz, which we probably will need, given my middle name, Clumsy. Looks lush. I'm telling you, that's from Ikea. That's where the guys got their throws on the Game of Thrones. Their little jackets. Cute as you like. Over to the other side. Here we have our fire creek. Do you, will I be okay if I open it? Maybe. Try it. Ah! No. Go on. It's quite hot. What did I just the put twister, it? Twister. Twister. Oh! This is Lower the, down then, the fire. Look at that. That's awesome, isn't it? So cool. I said if we wanted to, we could we could just keep it open 
Have an open fire. Oh my god, I can't close it. Twist it. Ah. Twist it. <laughs> then there's extra blankets in there, which I don't think we're gonna need, but when the fire goes out in the morning, he said it might be quite quite cold. So there's literally sheep surrounding us, which is amazing. I just wanna when you walk past them, they like run away from you and I'm like, no. <laughs> what I'd give to just sit here and, and stroke one all night. I'd love it. I'd love it if they were more friendly. But I'm excited. We're gonna have a bath. And yep. we're gonna make some pasta. Oh, I haven't showed you the toilet. Come on then. Craig's little knock on wood toilet. So they've got one of those like eco toilets. So it's like, there's no water. So you do number two and then it sounds like this. <laughs> <laughs> Literally like. <laughs> so weird. Did you do number two, yeah. No on me, I just heard the guy. We don't need to have that conversation right now. <laughs> it is weird though. So the toilets are located about 10 steps away from the yurt. So you come out here, it's got a little love heart because it's the toilet and everyone loves a good... Flop. <laughs> loves a good <laughs> toilet, you know, your average toilet with your sawdust that you have to just get a little sprinkle every time you do a little sprinkle. Do that little sprinkle again. Sprinkle. We've got ourselves... A shower flower, I'll be back in an hour. So um, this also, this water also comes from the spring at the top. If there's some sun, you get a lovely hot shower. If there's no sun, it's gonna be cold. <laughs> so lucky we've got the bathtub on. Ain't that right, Holmes? I'm actually gonna make the bath though. You're gonna light the fire under the bath with the wood, etc. How cool is this? This is proper like Craig Holmes. Hunter man. So what I do, this is me. This is me. <coughs> Sorry. Bless you. Been in that in my natural environment. Trees, sheep, fire. Yurt. Yurt. Misses. Ah. <laughs> yes. You gotta fit that's like halfway and then he says, you have to sit on this, otherwise you burn your bum. So you gotta lay that in flat first. 